Hello my indigos and crystals friends. Um, now we're going to talk about crystals and their characteristics. Yes, crystal children and adults. So we're going to grab our post-it note about crystals characteristics. We're going to place it here under indigos. Okay. So to give you an idea, um, the crystal children began to appear on the planet around after 1990 and the main purpose is to take us to our next level in our evolution and reveal us um, our path to our higher power they are more of a group consciousness than individuals like the indigos and they live by the law of one or global oneness the first thing you're gonna recognize on a crystal ch a children or on a crystal adult is their forgiving nature. They forgive very easily. They forgive a lot, and many people would say, "Well, why do you do it? Why uh, don't you stand for yourself?" But that's their nature. They like to try to understand and forgive others. They're very sensitive, warm, and caring, and don't think they are weak because they're very powerful. It's just that they are sensitive and caring. Um, so that allows them to feel the universal consciousness. Uh, it's very hard to hide something from the crystal, uh, neither be able to lie to them, as they know immediately what is the truth. Um, a crystal can read your thoughts and what's in your heart. That's why they are so sensitive. Um, they come with a higher vibration, so they have things, uh, the ability actually to reflect things back to the universe. Um, so here are some of the characteristics that you can find on a crystal children. They have large uh, eyes, and an intense stare, are highly affectionate. They could begin uh, speaking later in life and could use telepathy or self-invented words or languages to communicate, love music, and may even sing before uh, even talking, are extremely connected to animals and nature. They like uh, rocks, crystals, stones, things like that, are artistic, highly empathic and sensitive, are forgiving and generous. Uh, they draw people and animals uh, near them because of their love. They have a good sense of balance and are fearless when exploring new things and places. And another interesting characteristic of the crystal is that they hear or see angels and spiritual guides, and they don't like stressful places or environments. Um, they don't get along very well with loud, sharp sounds, dislike bright, unnatural lights, often enjoy choosing their own meals because they're very independent, and speak about the universal love and healing. Um, crystals don't react well to sugar, caffeine, or some natural foods, or lots of preservatives and chemicals on foods. They might get um, easily sick in their stomach. They dislike fighting or refuse to keep an argument for very long. Uh, they're very good on amplifying emo emotional energies that they get from the environment and become very uncomfortable around electrical devices or can disturb electrical devices like laptops or the phones or the TV or the remote control. Um, they can read a person very easily, so they can stare at somebody for a long time, so they can know about their thoughts and memories and energy. Can sometimes, some people would call it manipulative, uh, if they cannot have the reality that they're looking for, and are easily overstimulated, and need to meditate a lot. Um, they usually have trouble with fear or worrying, enjoy discussing spiritual or philosophical topics, and sometimes appear to be like 
uh, with big signs of uh, clairvoyance or looking or talking to nobody, you know. Um, so yes, indigos and crystals, they work together. First were the indigos, now we have the crystals. So it's very important that you realize that uh, as an indigo or as a crystal, you are very wise and powerful. You just have to reach that level of awareness. And if you're the parent of a crystal uh, kid, uh, you should understand that they are here to work on the energy of others uh, and raise our vibrational uh, frequencies to help us facilitate a global change. Um, so please don't mistake these kids as weak because they are not weak at all. Um, and yes, they're very different from from indigos. Um, indigos are more intuitive and are more strong and opinionated and crystals are more forgiving and more loving so I'll suggest uh, that you do some research so you can find out exactly um, if you are more identified into a crystal person or into an indigo so enjoy your day and thank you for being here. Love and light.